As governor, I would certainly want to move forward with economic development that works for everyone in the state. For his part, the governor said his administration has been working closely with businesses, and that's paying off with jobs for New Hampshire workers. BAE could have expanded anywhere in the country. It's here that they want to be, because we're making investments and working as a team. High energy costs are seen as a drawback for business growth. The governor said Northern Pass, involving power from Hydro-Quebec, would help. He also said you need to make sure that putting in renewable energy, which Kelly advocates, doesn't increase the burden to ratepayers. On the issue of family leave, Kelly said the governor's record is one of inaction. That my opponent had the opportunity uh, as governor to put in the plan that he wanted and to get it passed. There was a Republican House, a Republican Senate. While the governor said they're working on putting in place a plan that makes fiscal sense. My plan doesn't have the $20 million in startup costs that their plan does because I bring public private sector into it. My plan includes state employees. Their plan didn't. The cost of commuter rail also a point of contention with Kelly saying businesses need it and Sununu saying you better be prepared to subsidize it. And finally, their visions for the future. I want to work in collaborations, which I have done and been successful with in the state Senate, bringing businesses and educators together so that everyone, everyone has an opportunity uh, to succeed. It's not about institutions. It's not about government. It's about local communities, families, and individuals. That's why we've had the most success. Now, voters across the state will have the chance to compare the candidates for themselves. WMUR is broadcasting and hosting, along with the New Hampshire Union leader, the final gubernatorial debate at 7 p.m. on Thursday. In the studio, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.